Hi, tonight we're going to show you how my dad taught me to put on a necktie so that every single time you get a perfect knot that's not slanted. For all you guys out there, if you do the single knot, you probably realize that in the end it's a little bit of a slant, right? And if you're putting on a necktie, you want it to look nice. And that little bit of a slant sort of takes away from the quality, the history, the history, the, uh, well, the beauty of the necktie. And of course, these days, the double Windsor knot, which gives you a nice square knot, it's kind of big and bulky. So, um, well, there's another way. Let me show you how it's done. This is how my dad taught me. First of all, most of the time, guys put their ties on like this. But, this time, we're going to put it on upside down, facing outwards, the back facing out, with the large side to the left. Now, it depends on the necktie you have. The Japanese ties I have are a little bit shorter, so I have to adjust a little bit, but the ones that come from North America seem to be perfect. Now, if you set it up, right about here you can get a perfect necktie every time. So what you want to do is you want to set it up so that you've got a spot here at the soft spot of your neck and if you align this area, the small part, right to this uh, little area, I don't know what it's called, but where the necktie goes in at the end, you can pretty much end up with a perfect necktie every time. So. You take the small side and you wrap it around like this, over the front. Then take the large one and put it through. Put it through once. Like this. Okay? Now you're still working with the large side. Put two fingers up here to give yourself a little bit of space. Take the large side, wrap it around over the front, reach underneath and bring it behind and then up from the back through the top and where these two little fingers are poke it through there just like this and snug it up there you go and fold the collar down, like that, snug it up here, you can make it a little tighter if you want a slightly smaller knot, fit it through here, the back, and it ends right there almost every single time, and you can see your tie just covers your belt, which is good, you don't want it too high, you don't want it too low but just a little bit over the belt gives you a perfect fit and you can do this without even looking at a mirror so there you go that's how you tie the necktie let's do it once more start off upside down align it to just about here and go perfect necktie every time. You can see the knot is horizontal here, comes down nicely. Not too big, not too small. It's even, smooth, and it looks good. And in the end, if you look behind, you're seeing the back side and the back side are actually facing each other. So there you go. That's how my dad taught me 
to tie the perfect knot every time. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your work and look good while doing it. Bye.